Well, let's try again. All right, we are live. Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Today is Friday, June 17th. And you know, Fridays are Tea with Ted. And I'm super excited to have one of my closest, dearest friends on the planet here with me. The one and only Wendy Stewart is here. Yay! Uh, we are going to talk about some tea. Uh, it's good tea. I have my tea right here. It just has, happens to be clear and in a big glass. Uh, her tea is just water, I but water. we're going to spill a little tea. Uh, and of course, tea doesn't, sure. it, it, people said, you know, it's it, don't be negative, Ted. I'm like, we're not trying to be negative. What we're trying to do is kind of take a deep dive. And I'm sorry, I've got a light here that I have to try to get the comments. Uh, we have a, <laughs> we're going to talk. Hey, babe, what's up? Hi, Stacey. What's up? Love what's you. up? We love you. Um, we're going to talk about, uh, topics in depth and not hold back and swear if we want, and we'll pray for forgiveness later on that. Uh, but we want to have a deep conversation and that's what Tea with Ted is. I have so many great friends and we have all these wonderful conversations and I'm like, why aren't we having these out loud? Because I know other people are thinking it, feeling it, wondering yes. it. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the power of relationships. Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> all right. So, but, but before we do, Wendy, while I am sharing and doing all this good stuff, uh, where are our teacups? Yeah, Kathleen, no, no teacups yet. Here's, here's the closest thing yeah, I have to yeah, a, a teacup. Uh, but next time I need to get tea with Ted cups. That would be fun. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Something like funny. Wear, like, hats yeah. We should wear, <laughs> well, that's what the promo pick. I know. Like. I love the promo. Pick um, but tell them about you for people who don't know who Wendy in the cloud, Wendy Stewart is, uh, give them a little Wendy mother. <laughs> WMFS. <laughs> I am Wendy Stewart. I enjoy long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am the managing broker of an amazing brokerage called the property pros hashtag Noah pro um i've been an agent for almost a decade i love what i do um and aside from that you're like one of my very best friends so we spill a lot of tea all the time so when i found out you wanted to do this show i was like <laughs> yes like why haven't you been doing this already because um you're saying what yeah what everyone else is thinking or doesn't want to say so i love that and it's all about being authentic and being true to ourselves, being self-aware. Right. Um, so let's let's go. Let's in. roll. So uh, one of the things I want to start with, it's not even on my little list of notes, which I had to write down a few things. He does. Uh, yeah. just, I usually don't, but there was so much I wanted to try to cover and I didn't want to miss. But the power of relationships, we should tell the story of how we <gasps> built our there. relationship. <laughs> I think it's so important because that is what it's all about. And so okay. give them a little 411 on that. Tell them um, how, how we, we met. met. Yes. Okay, so uh, I was invited. I was with um, NARREP, which is an amazing organization. Much stuff. Um, and I was on the board at that time, I think, already. And we were um, seeing a, we were listening to a motivational speaker that day who was amazing. Absolutely. Uh, he, he's amazing. Um, but like I was in awe of Ted Bogert, right? <laughs> so, and he was in the room. Like when I walked in, I was like, he's in the room. Like at some point I've got to get to him. I got to get a picture with him. So <laughs> everyone, when it was and all how'd said, you know me from the show? From the show, yeah, from of the course. Show. And um, when it was all said and done, everyone was like, uh, like waiting to take a picture with the motivational speaker. And you were just kind of doing your thing off to the side. And I totally like bypassed the, the motivational speaker guy and went straight for Ted. And I was like, Ted Bogert, I need to take a picture with you. And we still have the picture. We still have the picture. It, it comes up on it our comes memories up on every our memories year. And we're like, that's our picture. And we just clicked, hit it off. Like we've known each other. Eileen Winfrey. Just... <laughs> you know, you love me, Eileen Winfrey. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. That's how we met and legit we've been that was four years yeah ago. and the, the great thing so it's one so that's how you meet that you put yourself out but then a lot of times people don't know how to follow up they don't really know how to build a circle they don't really know how to uh build relationships and i want to talk about the importance of that today that's just one prime example mainly to torture my kids uh and eileen winfrey that i wanted to share Eileen's uh <laughs> i wanted to share that story but i think that that is key like when you meet someone um, a lot of people don't know what to do next. They don't know how to maintain relationships. People, I know they ask you this. They ask me all the time. How do you know so many people? How do you, how do you remember names? How do you go to events? How do you 
um, know so many people and not just on a surface level, but you know about them and you interact with them and you break bread with them. Hey, what's up, Luann? Um, and I don't understand how you don't. So let's talk a little bit about that too, because I think it's important. Uh, I lead with trust. Um, one of the things that I do, which drives Stacy, if, if my wife is still watching <laughs> uh, crazy, is that I'll trust you immediately up front. Mm -hmm. I don't have a filter as far as, I mean, your energy has to be like the devil for me to not go, all right, well, I can, I can believe you. And I think that helps me lead with, hey, Kelly, um, that helps me lead with, um, I'm, I'm positive, I'm coming from a place of abundance, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't burn me, but it still is important for me to do that. I'm not going to change. Are you the same way? I or? am the exact same way. I give trust until you do something to break that trust. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to put my best foot forward with you. Um, I am very like, if, if I am with you, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I ha I do have a million things going on. Sometimes I'm with people and I'm still texting and I, I know that's so bad, but like, I, I take everything in that you're saying. I, I, and I'm interested in everything that you're saying too. Like it could be about anything and I'm still engaged. I'm still, um, I'm a people person. Like I need people. That's why I struggled through the pandemic. Cause that, that just, even as a brokerage, we are very much, we're not zoom. We're not a zoom broker. No, 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 we're no. not like, uh, you know, a, a, I don't know what you want to call it, but we are uh, in your in face, person. in person people. All of us are there. So that's, that's, you know, it's just how we are. Well, I th and I think it's important to be that way. And one of the things that I was going to follow up with that on is follow up because I think, so you and I could have had that moment. I could have gone, oh my God, I've got a, a Ted fan. How awesome. And then <laughs> never followed up, never tried to develop the relationship never done anything. And I think that's where a lot of people are failing. I'm seeing it in our, in our industry, our industry, oh, especially yeah. mine, especially as people will go to events, they'll, uh, they think by osmosis, they're going to build relationships. <laughs> hey, I gave 50 people my business card. Uh, and they don't know how to build a relationship and do any kind of follow-up. I was talking with someone last night at an event that Wendy and I were at with Stacy and a whole bunch of pros and Jeremy, and it, it was a great crowd. And I was talking to somebody and they said, well, I'm trying to follow up with so-and-so. And I was, you know, maybe a few black cherry white claws <laughs> in. And I said, trying? You're either following up or you're not. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you calling them weekly? Are you trying to set an appointment? Are you commenting on their social media? What are you doing to try to build that? Because I think a lot of people think I'm just going to give the business card out and then business didn't come to me. Well, then that means the event was a failure. Everything else is a failure. Of course, they can't blame them, blame themselves. No. When in reality, it's them, it's you who aren't following up with people. Yeah. You're not giving back to people. You're not right. feeding into people. Right. So tell me what you think about follow up. Do you do that a lot? Are you a follow up person in relationships? I'm a follow up person in my own way. So I'm a follow up person in, um, you know, in a Wendy way. Like it's it's very um, genuine, and I. I'm not as good at names as you are. <laughs> You're like so good with names. Everyone to me is a honey or a honey bunny. <laughs> you know that. I so do like, it too. I always, I always follow up though with like my text and it's very, it's me. It's like a million emojis and it's not like one word. It's, um, and I, and the, see the thing though, in, in return, I think everyone should be like me and they're not. So when I get like, Great point. yes, when I get one more things, I'm like, what did I do? Did they not like me? And then sometimes it's just, that's the way that people are, you know, not everyone. Yeah, but I like, hate, so, you know, you're allowed to swear. <laughs> I fucking hate that excuse. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. So I started to unfriend people because remember, we have these big circles. You want to keep people close, which we'll talk about a lot. You don't want toxicity. You want to get rid of that. And we're going to take a deep yeah. dive. So if I say to somebody, happy birthday, we'll say for that example, and I get a thumbs up back, sayonara, boo, you are gone. Why? Because to me, that's not the kind of person I want to interact with. Do you need to send me? I love you, Ted. Thank you so much for wishing me a happy birthday. No. But if you don't put any emotion in, to me, that means you're not vested in the relationship. Uh, you don't really care. You're taking the easy, lazy, lazy way out. And so you don't have any kind of investment in me. So why the hell am I wasting my time uh, on you? What are we doing? And then I, I swear to you, that's my favorite day to get rid of the five, cut the 5,000 down day, yeah. and then bring the ones in who have been sitting there waiting that I want to bring in. Birthdays are my favorite. And so I just feel like people don't give any kind of 
in a relationship, it's got to be just more than one word. You can't set, you can't do one word. Let's say you're a, you're a person of few words. I get that, but you can say those words in a text, believe me, where people will feel it and they'll know what you mean. Um, we say appreciate you a lot. I mean, you can, you can express yourself yeah. a little bit. It's okay to not just say thanks. Or how about thanks. one step further, Ted? How about action? Oh, let's talk about <laughs> how about let's, action? Let like me, how give, about give me one more Because sometimes words just uh that remember that song by those more than words? Yes, 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 yes. Every lyric, ooh, chills. Yes, like that stuff. that was good stuff because it's true. Like sometimes some some people are people of few words, but I think about like our circle of friends. We have an amazing, like, I'm so blessed to be like, we have, we are. We I, oh my gosh, because like we go to each other's stuff. I drive a long way to get yes, to them. They do. drive a long way to get to my stuff in Osceola County. And it's never like, and there's so much love. I think in our, I don't know how many times a day we tell each other, I love you. Like it could be like the good morning. I love you. Yep. Like our last thing is always, I love you. I love you. And, and we back it up with so much action that there's no question. There's no room for like, am I really loved? Am I really, you know, it, it, it is, it just yes. is because we show it. Um, we show it a lot. A lot. Yeah, we do. I feel like, um, that's a pet peeve of mine and we've talked about it a thousand times. Don't tell me you love me. Don't tell me you support me. Don't tell me I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. And then, uh, your actions show me completely different. You talk shit about me. Uh, you don't attend events. You don't support me what I'm do in what I'm doing. Uh, if I show up to your event, I'm a bother. If uh, you, you're telling me one thing, but your actions speak so much louder. And so when that happens, what do I think? Oh, great. Hey, Mandy. Uh, and hey, Wyatt, um, you're full of shit. That's what I think. You're so <laughs> full of shit. And I don't believe anything else that comes out of your mouth after that. I'll give you a couple of tries like, well, maybe they were having a bad day yes. or maybe their relationship's a mess or maybe work's stressful. That's fine. But if you consistently show me that you don't love me, like me, support me. And I just continue to let it go on. That's on me. Right. But you have to, you have to make that break. I feel like, so I have people that are in my life that are like that. We all do. And I don't believe one motherfucking word that they say <laughs> ever. I don't believe anything that comes out of their mouths. I might nod. It might appear that way. Uh, but they're not to me in my real inner circle. Yeah. Uh, they're a periphery and they may think they are their acquaintances acquaintances and there's a big difference between there's a huge yeah. difference between yeah. that but the action that's such a great point because the actions i feel like to me are everything um stacy will say my i don't know what my love language is i'm sure she'll type it in a minute if she's watching uh but i feel like if you tell if wendy says i love you and then i don't hear from her see her talk to her do nothing with her for six, eight months. We'd call the cops. Like, something's, <laughs> but something's wrong, but people do that to other people all the time. So I feel like when you are, especially at my age, I'm about uh, words of affirmation. Stacy mm -hmm. says, yes, that, yes. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. Um, Minerva wants to know, can we get a virtual tour of your closet? That's what uh, people Stacey, really Stacey, want. You need to Stacy on the show. You know what? It's smaller than you think. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like that if we could um, isolate ours, or get, get away from those kinds of people, this goes back to the uh, law of attraction. We're both faith people, oh, but yeah. I believe this. You can't get the people who should be in your life in your life if you don't get rid of the people who are doing nothing for your life, who are not in your corner, who are not, who might be part of your circle, but aren't really there to support you, that don't wish you a happy birthday, that don't say something more than condolences when your son dies or your daughter dies, like these kinds of people, they're not emotionally feeding you because they really aren't connected to you for you. Yeah. There's a reason they're connected. But let to me you. challenge you too, Ted, because once in a blue, someone like that will come into your life and they don't know different, right? And they don't, they've never seen this type of love in a relationship, True. be it a, a friendship or a, a romantic relationship. And there are very few people that just need to be taught that. And I, be, and I believe, you know, we're faith-based people. So we believe God can change anybody and True. move mountains and all that. So I think once in a blue, 
that's why we give the trust at first because everybody does you know in my opinion everybody deserves it until they break the trust but there are like that few group of people that once they're taught that they're amazing and like because i i do have maybe one or two friends in my life that we weren't friends at first and we weren't and they've learned to to what a real relationship and what a friendship looks like when there's give and take and yes. you know what i mean so I've had those people. Once so in the blue, right? I have, everybody. I'll, I'll name one and he'll kill me for it. But um, I have, uh, oh we have God. a great friend. No, 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 I'm going to tag, this one's, <laughs> this one's safe to tag. Um, Juan. So Juan, um, Juan is a great, a great human being. Yeah. And, but when I first met him, all I could think about Speedy was Gonzalez. Speedy <laughs> and please stop bragging. Stop the bragging. I need, he but brag. he did, he's worked on it. So oh. <laughs> he's been consulted. But the great thing about that was you're, See? that's, that's an See? example yeah, of it. I, example, if my man. normal place, Mark says touch, yours is touch. That's, that's Stacy's by the way, Mark Winfrey. <laughs> um, maybe that's yours too. I don't know. Woo, we could have a whole conversation about that. But Juan is such a loving human being. And I, if I had not done what you just said to do and given that opportunity and try to consult and share and then do my thing to see if that would open up what he may not be used to, I wouldn't have the relationship I have right. with him now. So That's you're right. So There's true. a power in that. There is um, a power. And it's not, it's not because we're amazing people and we have, you know, it's not, it's because we're broken and we know what broken is feels like yes. and we know what it looks like and we understand that people need compassion that's why it's not because we're like walking on what we're like you and i are like the most imperfect people on the planet we're such a uh, friend. literally on a daily basis i'm like imposter syndrome we should do a we should do a we whole show that. on that yes. so it's 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 the opposite it's because we we've been there we know what that feels what like. about communication so communication is a We're big thing for me. Too. Yes, I told you I got a list. Uh, communication <laughs> is a big thing for me. Oh, um, we did talk about how some people communicate in short sentences and yes. you're trying to help them and guide them. Um, but I feel like communication as a whole, people aren't necessarily great at it. They're they're like, I feel like I tell I wear my heart on a sleeve. I mean, you yes, you, you know how I'm feeling. Mm. Um, I'm trans. Parent, I'm vulnerable, probably to a point people don't want me to be more vulnerable because I just come across that way. I also think the authenticity goes in that. So when you're communicating with people, if those three things aren't there along with honesty, I feel like everything falls flat. And that's where relationships are built on bullshit foundations. Uh, if you don't have that, all of those things, the honesty, the transparency, the authenticity, the vulnerability, then guess what's happening? You're building a relationship with someone who you don't know. You don't really know who they are. You don't, maybe they don't know who they are. Maybe they don't. And maybe they don't. And I think that's what is hard for those of us who are empaths. A whole nother discussion oh, on that's that. that's a whole nother show. Where you feel, I feel everything that people are going through. I, I emote, I cry more often every day on a regular basis. Uh, not because I'm sad, but because I'm moved, I empathize, I feel it. Uh, but it, not everybody's like that. But if you, if you are in constantly engaging and trying to change someone and you can sense that the communication is not good, you really need to evaluate whether or not that relationship is good for you. Because at the, at the end of the day, it is not your responsibility to save people. It's not. It's not your. No. <laughs> Listen, I'm preaching and you know I'm the worst at this too. I know. It's not your response. So faith-based people believe that's a God thing. And maybe God uses you to help save people. But you can't save people because if you are saving everybody, you are not saving yourself. Uh, you feel energy yes. is the way and so do I. I do uh, we too. both do. But I feel like people take on they take all of that on and then they um, they neglect the relationships that need the attention or themselves, um, or themselves which is really bad. One of the things that Stacy's still watching, I'll admit, um, is that I would I'll get home from a day and she obviously I haven't seen her. I'm tapped. Oh my I'm God, I know out. where you're going with this because Anthony and I talk about this all the time. And all you I want to give you need an hour of quiet. I need because that's my safe, that's my 100% yes. safe place. Yes. And I know I can go there, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't need the things. She wants some of that energy that I'm sh showcasing all day long. Yes. For me, that's where I want to unwind. So mm -hmm. you have to, and I'm not great at it. Stacey will tell you 31 years later, I'm still not great at it. 
but I'm cognizant of it. I know that when I go home, I have to yeah. not just collapse. I've got to figure out. Yeah. Sparkle guy. Yeah. She does. She's like, I want a little a sparkle guy. Oh. It's true. So you, I think in your relationships, you have to, first you have to listen. Like I listen to her. She'll be the first to tell you, I don't, I repeat the same mistake over and over again, but I'm cognizant of it. I think if you're not, if you're not aware of it and you're not willing to make the change. So when I get home now, I, I'm exhausted, same thing, tapped out, energy gone, just want to collapse in my chair, pet my dog and watch yes, some, dog. watch SVU. I mean, oh, that's, yes. that's my day. Um, but she wants to engage. We have a relationship, we have a marriage, we have a friendship. And so she wants to do that. And so I have been working slowly. It's been 31 years. 31 years. I'm, I'm getting a little better. She probably might disagree, but I feel like I'm, I'm a cognizant of it. So I know she's like, put the phone down. And so I, tr I oh, do she gave, try. Yeah, she told me you're going to put your phone down soon. Yes. I'm going to put my phone down a lot yes. soon, but she said I'm much better and that's kind, but, but I think we have to be cognizant of that. Why those relationships matter. So if you're spending all your time trying to fix somebody else in another relationship that you're getting nothing back in and you're neglecting the relationships that you have that are pure and amazing and good and wonderful, that's where that's where things okay, get can fucked I, up. Can I tell you something very yes. honestly? Um, my relationships since I've started in this business because we do, you know, we get so much of ourselves every day and it's, you're smiling and you're like this and that and all day, all day. So when I would get home, you know, I am tapped out. I need an hour. I need to hug my dog. I need to, I don't even turn the TV on. It's very quiet for me. Um, and when I was in a relationship, the dude would be like, Hey, hello, I'm here. And I'd be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you know, I just spent the entire day, not only physical in person, I'm having a hundred billion text messages it's and true. groups and emails. Like there's so many forms Never of ends. WhatsApp and messenger. So like, yeah, you can't, like, I was so bad at, like, I don't care. Like, you, you're gonna have to wait until I'm good and ready. I didn't work on it. <laughs> so I know, but I know now, like, then I'll be really good. I promise, guys. The next time, <laughs> <laughs> the next time I will, I, I'll give know. Us, give us your Tinder uh, uh, swipe, handle. Swipe. I'm not on the Tinder. I need okay. to get, so, like, I get it. I know that that's something I need to be better at. Um, or, you know, compromising some way, somehow, maybe like not an hour of quiet. I mean, we give me like 10 minutes and then I'll be right with you, honey. Well, and I also think that like when you're evaluating your friendships, think about who's who's cheering for you. I'm a big, Ooh. I watch that a lot. Like yes. who's really cheering for me? Yes. Um, and then I also look at who, um, when I'm having a conversation with someone, it should be a conversation. It shouldn't be one-sided. So we all have the people that we just vent to, right? You, we vent to each other. We're all friends. We, you have those friends that you vent to. Um, but if you're always doing, if you're always on the receiving end of the vent and you never get to share anything of your own uh, because they redirect it back to themselves, to them. you're in a really bad, narcissistic, toxic kind <gasps> of relationship. And I think we are in more of those than we care to admit because most of us are good, kind people. We do want to do the best for our relationships, but take a little bit and watch somebody that you, we all know it. We all can feel it. Yes. I, you know it. You yes. know somebody who isn't being real with you and watch and listen to how many times you're vented to and what happens when you try to turn it around and vent to them or have them be there for you. If you get the clear message, which I guarantee you will, they're not interested. You're there to be their sounding board. Uh, what do you call it? What do you do with Whip them? Then? What do you do with them? Well, I, so I'm big on cutting the toxicity out. <gasps> I so know. I know it's hard for you. Look, it's taken me. Eight, I'm 85. <laughs> it's taken me 85 years. That's so hard. It is. But you know what it is when you do it. You're. We're both faith based, and you know this is scriptural. God can't give you the blessings until you get rid of the crap that's not supposed to be in your you life that isn't of God. In John. Yes, in Ted, <laughs> Ted 3, 5. Um, basically, you cannot, he can't give you the blessings unless you let go of the things that aren't from him. So it's the same thing. If you are holding on to things that aren't from God or from a law of attraction, if you're focusing on the negative, I think is what law of attraction is. Yeah. You're going to get all that negative shit back and the positive can't come in. You can't get the blessings from God uh, if you are constantly focusing on something that's not from God. 
And so is it easy to identify that? No, but there are steps that you can take. Some of the things that Wendy and I were talking about, you have to begin to evaluate your relationships. You have to, and it's not easy. I'm saying this and I'm in a whole bunch of fucked up, horrible, crazy, Honey. insane. Honey. <laughs> I got you, B. <laughs> I'm going to give you that one. Insane relationships. Um, I'm still doing it, but what I'm trying to do is one by one, cut that out. Love you, Deborah. Love you. Um, cut that out because if I don't, I'm missing out on what's on the other side. I'm missing out what I'm supposed to be receiving. No, but what if these people really need us? Then God, if, if it's supposed to be from God, Wendy, yes. then God's going to show you clearly that that is what you're supposed to do. Right. We have this conversation we all did. the time. We've been, about the, we've been talking about the spirit. We're talking about spirit. Yeah. Yes. Because listen, you have to listen to the spirit. And if you know that it's not the right thing and you continue to allow it to happen, shame on you. Shame on you. Right. This is the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. Well, we do this in our relationships too. We are, we want to save people. We want, we also want people who we love to love us back in the same way that we love them. Yeah. And then that creates this whole crazy negative relationship. Mm -hmm. You can't, people, people will change. She's right. We talked about it. But you think about all of the people you're not meeting that the the universe, God, is trying to bring into your life, yeah. but you're cock blocking them because you're in oh. the middle of you're in the middle of a relationship you shouldn't be in. Your right. friendship, uh, lover, it doesn't family. matter. Sometimes in family. family. Yes. That's a hard one when you have a family member that you know. very difficult. And I've had to do it when you know I, I you know, you you know, know I grew yeah. up in an uh, abusive household. Yeah. Both my parents diagnosable narcissist and that's the truth um and so you i had to cut the toxicity out from them when i had my children because i didn't want my children to grow up in that same atmosphere and we allowed one of the um, narcissists in our lives for a little while and of course that proved uh, fruitless because that person was never going to change mm. uh, it was always going to be about them but family is difficult but mm. i can tell you that if you are supposed to do it and feel led to do it, then I say you take it because that's the spirit, the universe, whatever you believe right. speaking to you. And the longer you resist, the harder it's going to be because the universe is going to go, all right, you want to be a masochist and get the shit kicked out of you again? Well, I'll keep letting it happen until you make the change. And I feel like people, um, because of family, because uh, they've been my best friends since third grade. Really? What the, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Do you even talk to each other on a regular basis? Like what, what are they doing in your life? And it's not always about what they can do for you, but you all should be building each other up. You should have this love, this connection, this uh, kindred spirit, this support yeah. of each other. And I feel like we give in way too much and we miss out on uh, the power of the relationship as it's supposed to be. Mm. All right. So what Dang. else? What else are we doing today? Are we uh, did we what are we wrapping up with? What are what's somebody who's out there listening, Wendy, and goes, God, I, I want to be that strong. What do you what do you do? What do you tell them? Look, we're not perfect either. So what we tell you, we may not be pre, we may not be practicing really well. <laughs> I'm just saying what we know what we need to be well, doing. Okay, remember when you did that show, well, you had that saying uh, cut out. What was it that you would say, Ted? You got to eliminate the attract to subtract. Yes, attract. Just, I did a whole show on yes. this. Yes. In, in order, you have to subtract to attract. That's it. And I kept that with me. You have to do I it. Have, but I have a hard, I have a hard time. I did I the show when I have a hard time. I mean. <laughs> it was such a good show. I think we did it together. We might have. Yeah. But I, I have, I have a very hard time because again, I'm like, you know, I, in my mind, I'm like, okay, God put this person in my life for a reason. And yes. I've got to be. I've got to, I've got to figure out the reason and I've got to, until they beat me up and, you know, like, uh, and it, has it proven to work for me? Not, not once, one right? <laughs> never, 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 ever, ever. But I, and I, I think as I get older, it does get easier. I don't, it, it, you know, eliminate completely people from my life, but I, I remove myself yes. very quietly and very, and they'll say, I haven't heard from you. I haven't seen you around. Same here. No, that's actually, look, if you want to practice that, to me, 
That's better than hanging on for dear life in a relationship you know you need to be out of. You can step away quietly. It doesn't, you don't have to come on the show and announce, hey, you fuck fucks, I'm done with you. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You, but you can disappear in a way that is good for you, uh, that, that is in your time frame. as long as I feel like you're taking one step every day or every couple of days toward that. Uh, once you do that, guess what? Faith, the universe, it all gives back to you and it realizes it you're doing, yes. And then it guess what? Aligns. You're going to start to see positives. I promise I you, I've lived it for 85 years. Um, all right. So love you to pieces. Absolutely. That's it. We're, easy. We're at 30 easy. minutes. Oh my gosh. I know. We're going to start tagging people. We're going to eliminate. <laughs> Show number two. <laughs> we'll have, the I don't even know the follow up and the fallout. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, but I love you. Thank I you so you. much. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, take your life back. Stop allowing the toxicity to control you. Stop allowing the toxicity to keep you from the blessings that you're supposed to have and be in the relationships that you're supposed to be in. You can't save everybody. You can't create love in everybody. And you're a loving, wonderful human being. Uh, let's let the world see that and get rid of that toxicity. It's the power of relationships. Yes. How's that? I feel love like I... All right. We love you guys. Love you. We'll see you soon. Bye everybody. Bye. I don't know what I'm doing. Here we go. End broadcast. Bye. <laughs>